They've been busy. Detroit police looking for five suspects wanted for more than two dozen smash and grabs in the city. Police say they've been terrorizing businesses since January. Off the top tonight, business owners said they are fed up. Jermont Terry live on Detroit's east side with a look at the suspects that police are seeking. Jermont. Yeah, Devin, yeah, Devin the uh, business owners suspected that the, these smashing grabs were all connected. And tonight, DPD confirming what they had already thought. Take a look. These are the five guys police say are behind at least 25 smashing grabs. Now, I'm at a party store right off Van Dyke off 94. Take a look. You can see where the brick has somewhat been repaired. This is how these guys have been going in. And this owner says they need these guys off the street tonight. I mean, uh, we're working very hard to make honest uh, living and somebody come clean you up. Steve Bohora's party store is one of many in Detroit broken into in recent weeks. Detroit police say these five men are behind the string of smashing grabs. Two weeks ago, they came uh, from here. You can see, just I fixed it uh, yesterday. Steve is tired of repairing the exterior wall of his store off Van Dyke and 94 on the east side. Just like the most recent smash and grab at this door just days ago, the thieves are using the car to break down the wall, and once inside, they snatch everything they can, often getting away with thousands of dollars worth of merchandise. In three months, Steve's been hit twice, and the repairs, not to mention the merchandise stolen, keep adding up. And how much is it costing to repair something like this? This one is uh, nothing. This one cost me about maybe $1,500 to take care of it. But the problem we got, they come clean liquor, cigarette, beer, wine, they clean you up. And despite having barriers around the store, is this enough? Is this keeping them out? They came, they come with a slight hammer, big slight hammer, like this. It's safe to say Steve and other business owners are fed up and want these men police believe are responsible for at least 25 smashing grabs off the streets now, because when they lock up nightly, they don't know what they'll return to. And tonight, here's another look at the five men police are looking for. We have their names posted at ClickOnDetroit.com. If you're wondering just how much merchandise has been stolen, Steve told me one night he had $30,000 worth of cigarettes, liquor, and everything inside the store taken in one time. So imagine, multiply that by two, it's adding up for these business owners. Reporting live on the city's east side tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4.